Well, it's a rare find in this city on the rise, a church in West Nashville that dates back nearly 100 years. But the building's seen better days, need some major upgrades and repairs. Well, News Channel 5's Olivia Michael tells us about a restoration effort underway right now to bring this historic building back to life. A visit to St. Andrew's Anglican Church can feel like a step back in time. Nashville is a historic place. It's a, it's a wonderfully historic place, and, a, and I believe this is a hidden gem. From its chandeliers to its stained glass windows, most of this church looks as it did nearly a hundred years ago. So it's, it's these things, it's the small things that remind me of the past. Built in 1930, the little stone church with red doors was sold in 1965. It's been an anchor here in this community and we want to bring it back. So to bring it back, St. Andrews just bought it back. Now Father Dan is on a mission to resurrect this church to its former glory. We need new carpet, um, new altar rail, new furnishings. Upgrading a historic building doesn't come cheap. It's estimated to cost more than $100,000. But Father Dan has faith in the Lord and the community to raise the funds necessary to make it happen. We're doing everything we can to do fundraising, uh, to get grants, to, to do anything that we can to, to see this building back up to where it is. St. Andrews may be back, but Father Dan says its mission has always stayed the same. And so our work is with people on the margins and just making a place that everyone who walks through those doors feels welcome and loved at all times. He hopes with restorations made today, St. Andrews will stay around for another hundred years to come. It's just really kind of cool that, that we're in this historic space. And I, I just want Nashville to know it's just so amazing. And it's going to be more amazing the more we do. Olivia Michael, News Channel 5. Thanks, Olivia. By the way, if you're interested in donating or helping with these rebuilding efforts, all you have to do is reach out to St. Andrew's Anglican Church.